Hi, welcome to day 11 of your Silver Lining Moments, a practice of gratitude and resilience as part of this Journaling with Carrie series. I'm Carrie, and as always, I am so glad you are here. You look marvelous, my friend. Uh, I think it was Billy Crystal from a long time ago. You look marvelous. Not very good with accents, am I? Or impersonations and whatever. Okay, let's stick that up that I am good at. I'm good at silver lining moments. And this is where I'd like to set this for you. Ready? The light of a silver lining moment transcends space and time. Simple and true. Grab your journal, get your pen, and let's journal. different today. Whoa, I'm going to write in my favorite chair. I am now positioned where I'm looking out the window and uh, so you guys don't have that lovely view to look at but I brought in I brought a set of roses for you so you could look at that as we write. All right so today what we're going to do is go back to that person that you've been writing about Take a moment or two at the start. Take a moment and read your pages that you've written uh, since day eight, day eight, nine, and ten. Look at those pages. And now think of how the silver lining moment that you wrote about yesterday, how that stays with you today. And you can also include in your writing, go back to all the list of silver lining moments from different people in your life and think about how those have stayed with you today. So you don't, you're not limited to just one person. You can start with the person that you wrote about and selected yesterday. I, I, I would encourage you to do that. Um, but if you have time, go ahead and think about how the silver lining moments from your other family and friends stay with you today. So let me get, like, to give an example of what I'm talking about. So the silver lining moment that I wrote about really was a letter that someone had sent to me when I was going through a really dark time. Um, and that letter was full of encouragement, but it was also full of reminders for me to really see um, the good in me. pausing because I really don't know that line of how much to share and what not to share. But at the time I was getting messages from another person that were really just insulting and mean, verbally abusive, no doubt, no doubt. And just, you know, calling me all the names that you could think of to call someone. And it was at that time that my silver lining moment person had sent me a letter. And she was like, don't listen to those. That is that person. That is not you. We know you. We know you far longer than this person has. And you are none of that. And then she went on to give me an example. You know, examples. Remember when you did this. Remember when you did that. You're like this. And so it was really a long letter that she had sent to me. And that was over. Gosh, when did she send that? It was about 10 years ago that she sent that letter, maybe over 10 years, but the words still stay with me. And times when I start to, you know, if I doubt myself or I just get shaken in life, I remember those words from that letter. So that letter just didn't exist in that one moment in time 10 plus years ago. It exists today. So that's what I mean when it transcends time and space. So think about your own, write about it. 
and um, I'll see you in 15 minutes. I'm just going to sit here on this chair. You can look at those roses. I'll keep track of the time. So at the top of mine, I am going to write that, not, not in this part, I'll fill this out. So I'll fill this at the end like we always do, but at the top of mine right here, I'm just going to put the light of a silver lining moment. Transcend space and time. All right, and I'm going to put, here's how. And now just write.
as you're writing, you can also ask yourself the question, where else or, or when else have I been alone or been scared, been sad, but didn't feel alone, didn't feel afraid? Because I remembered this person or these people or something they did for me. I remembered a silver lining moment. See what comes when you ask yourself that question. How did remembering a silver lining moment from this person, how did that reset your mood or reset your frame of re reference at the time that you thought of it? Meaning, were you ever in like a bad mood, but then you remembered a silver lining moment from this person or with this person or people, and then your bad mood just went away and was replaced with uh, with happiness. You just have about a minute left.
finish up what you're writing or read what you wrote because in 45 seconds we're going to fill in our moment of for today's writing. Okay, go ahead and think about your name to fill in at the top of your page. Your a moment of is lying by. Okay, uh, for mine today, I, I wrote a few. Um, why I just put a, a I put a uh, a moment of feeling isolated. No, I don't think that's right. A moment of isolation is lined by connection. And I'm thinking of a time when I was traveling by myself and there were some times where I would, you know, by myself. Um, yeah. Just put that. A, moment, a moment of isolation is fine by connection. Good. As always, if you want to share yours, join the private Facebook group and we can share in there or you can share it in the comments to um, day 11, this video. All right, let's come together and expand our love and light. First, feel it inside yourself. Um, I'm going to do our send off just from right here. Okay. So. Take uh, three breaths. For this to breathe in light, breathe out light. Second breath, breathe in love breathe out love. Third breath, breathe in laughter, breathe out laughter. Ready? Light, love, laughter. One, two, three. Uh, all right, sit in your light, love, and laughter. Think of the person who you have been writing about or the people you have been writing about, your friends and family who have your silver lining moments. And to them we say, during today, may they be happy and healthy. May they be free from suffering, from physical, emotional, mental, financial, spiritual suffering. May they be free from negativity, drama, and conflict. 
may they be immersed with peace, prosperity, positive energy, love, and kindness. May they see the silver linings to all their moments. During today, may they give and may they receive genuine acts of love and kindness. All right, I will see you tomorrow for day 11. And for this, bring a card or a separate piece of paper or paper. We'll be doing a writing activity um, that's part of Silver Lining Moments, but I don't think you're going to write it in your journal. So well, I'll just tell you, for day 12, we're going to write a letter to the person we were writing about in our journal and letting them know that they've been a silver lining moment in our life and how they have and how that's impacted us. So a lot that we wrote about in the journal, you're now going to write it in a letter for them. And that'll be our writing time tomorrow. So between now and then, think of if you wanted to send them a letter on a piece of paper or a card. Um, I think it's, you know, if it's something that you just want to do a draft and then send it to them an email or a text, that's fine too. I just know, you know, getting a card in the mail for me is always so nice. Um, so I'm going to write a card to my person. All right, see you tomorrow for day 12.